now that you've installed TradingView, uh, you may have a screen uh, that looks like this, right? Fairly empty. Perhaps you don't even have a uh, stock listed. What you can do just to start things off is to click up here in the upper left corner and type in a ticker that you're familiar with or even type in the full name. Like if I were to type in Microsoft, okay, there you go. Uh, I can just click on this and this is Microsoft. Uh, to help us get familiar with the layout, let's look in the upper toolbar here and you'll see the time frame listed here. Uh, the five minute, 15 minute, etc. Okay. Uh, one thing that I find convenient, and I've already done it here, is uh, you can select some of these time frames to be your default. So, for example, if I clicked one month here, you'll see that the M shows up for monthly. Okay. And I can click on it, and you can see Microsoft from a monthly perspective. Now, you see how I just zoomed in like this? Uh, the tip is to press the control button on your keyboard and use your scroll mouse to zoom in and out. That's one way to do it. There's many ways to do everything in trading view, but this is how I do it. Okay. So that's how you do your favorites. Uh, the next thing is, uh, and actually I should explain the different uh, options here for how to display your chart. Um, Right now I have candles displayed because that's my favorite, but I think out of the box, TradingView displays uh, information as a line chart. Okay. So if yours looks like this, uh, you can switch up here to candles. Now, did you see how I just kind of dragged it back and forth? Just use your mouse, left click on the empty space on the screen, drag it left and right. Okay, that's another way to do to do the dragging. Now, what else can you drag? Let's, we might as well uh, discuss that now. If the scale here is too um, wide or not to your liking, you can uh, click on it, left click, and drag it up and down. Okay, that's another option. Uh, my recommendation for those who want to do a lot of charting is to always toggle log scale. So click that, log scale. Okay. All right. What does it do? Well, my explanation of it is that it helps to put all the data available uh, in a, on one screen uh, for ease of viewing. Let's go to the, the daily, actually. Here's the daily. If it looks really skewed like this, right, click auto. Okay, so right now price is uh, barely legible. Click auto, and there you go. Okay, so this is today, November, what day is it today? It's the 14th, all right. So time frame up here, candles here. You can uh, move the scale around. And what else is important just from a setup standpoint? Okay, let's talk about uh, saving your work. So let's say you've annotated all over this chart, or even you, you just took all this time to create your favorites for your time frame. And I'm going to remove uh, monthly. And you've also added candles to your chart. Okay. Right now, the chart's pretty bare. Uh, there aren't any indicators, and we'll talk about them later. What I do want to do is show you how to save your work. You can just click here if you want. Okay, save all your charts for all symbols. You can click on that, so it'll save it. Or you can just do the Control S. I, I often do Control S as I'm working. Okay. Another thing you could do is you can add another ticker, Okay, another uh, chart. So I'm going to click this teaching one. All right. It's a, okay, let me explain. My teaching layout is bare. Uh, so I'm using it to help uh, explain concepts, how to set up trading view, what to do. And when you save a layout, like teaching or however you want to call it, it will include um, all the 
tickers and well, your favorites, your watch list, uh, etc. Okay, it's really convenient. And then you can switch back and forth. All right. Mm, so you just learned how to save your work. You can do auto save if you want. All right. You can do a new layout. And depending on the level of your subscription, you can have many more layouts or many more uh, cool features. I just have the, I think it's the first one called Pro. All right. So that's how to save. Let's go now to the watch list. That's pretty important. First button here on the right is watch list. Okay. Right now mine is empty. Uh, and Remora is my YouTube channel. That's fine. Let's add a ticker. So press the, the add sign here. And let's add a few. Uh, we can add... Uh, We'll add LMT, Lockheed Martin. Okay, see how it populates over there? You can, let's say you're not sure how to spell it. Let's say you want to get the S&P 500, but you don't know like S&P. And it shows you all the S&P um, tickers available. Okay, uh, let's add the SPY here. Okay, the SPY. Let's add the uh, QQQ. That's the most popular NASDAQ ETF. Mm, that's good for now. I click X. All right. Uh, let's, oh, okay. You can sort. See how I just did that? Okay. Do by price. You can do by symbol. Uh, it's already after hours. So you can see that there's some price action after hours. But some of us don't trade after hours. So you can click on the ellipsis here and remove extended hours, no problem. If you want, you can show the logo just for, I don't know, just so you, it looks pretty, but I find it takes up space. You can also show the description. Okay, the description is like that. If you want it all spelled out, um, I'm gonna go back to just the ticker. And then, okay. What you see here is the desktop app. If I press control plus or control minus, okay, so here I go, control plus. See how it zooms in? Okay, I think it comes like this, pretty zoomed in. And to me, well, I prefer it zoomed out because I want to see more of the chart and less of the words. Uh, even if I go like this, to me, it's a little bit big. That's just a preference thing. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Um, I'll put it at 90, perhaps for your TV or computer, it looks better at 90. Okay, I'll leave it there. All right. Mm, there are a whole bunch of other options here. I'll let you export yourself. For me, the important ones are the time frame, the type of candles to be used, how to save, and the watch list. Okay, I'll make more videos about my specific setup. Mm. Oh yeah, don't forget, use log scale here. And then I forgot to explain down here, if you were to click all data, this will show you all the years for Microsoft. Just click auto and it kind of puts it in a nice clean way uh, from a log scale. If you, if you didn't have log turned on, it would look like this. Okay, but turn log on. And then if you were to do one year, this is, brings data back to one year or six months, right? This way you don't have to scroll. You don't have to do the controls, scroll mouse like this. You can just say, oh, I want to say six months previous or one month back of data, five days worth of data. But notice that if you go the one month, right? It switches to the 30 minute. You can always go to the one hour or the daily if you want for the one month. It's just your preference. So make sure that you keep track of the time scale. That's uh, the time interval that's being used up here.